It can happen just about anywhere. An unleashed, aggressive dog runs up and makes a move at either you or your gang. So what can you do to protect yourself and your pet? gang? Marty Banks met with two trainers today who work to fix that aggressive behavior. Marty last week, I reported on an Austin woman who filed a lawsuit against the owner of Cerberus Dogs. After they attacked her and her dog. That happened in April. Some viewers reached out asking what they should do if they find themselves in a similar situation. So I went to find out. She'll run right up to you. Meet Zaki and her owners, Harry Brown and Lang Buddha. They've trained dogs at ATX Canine Dog Training for eight years. Give left. The couple teaches several ways you can avoid or escape a dog fight. Motion is your absolute best friend. Don't stay still and let those dogs do that silent, really tense kind of interaction. And if that doesn't work and a fight ensues, don't go for the dog's collar because you can put your hands at risk. The trainers also recommend carrying an object like a gulag gang chain to use it as a distraction. Giving them an object and just letting it go, giving yourself the time to get away from that situation is the best case scenario. So keeping all that in mind, Cerberus Center says the odds of a dog randomly attacking you are actually really low. And most of the bites they see are from dogs biting their owners and dogs biting owners when they try to break up a fight.